Lagos State is investing heavily in the smart city project. Lagos is like a mini state in Nigeria with a population of more than 20 million people. A huge population comes with many challenges and demands, most especially in service delivery. Lagos can only cope with all these challenges by using technology. By integrating technology while building critical infrastructure, it will be easier to improve many services like waste management, health, security, traffic management, and most importantly, economic innovation. The aim of the smart city is to create a better place for the people, to provide better quality of life for the people, and a cleaner, more sustainable environment. This better quality of life is already happening in the transport sector. You can pay a bus fare with a Kauri card, which is very convenient, and very soon you'll be able to pay a train fare with the same card, and in the future you'll be able to shop in a supermarket with the same card. By using technology, Lego State can deliver world-class services. Think of someone needing a medical attention. With a few touches on the phone, the person will be instantly matched with a doctor in a hospital. What about sensors that can detect broken water pipes and alert engineers for an immediate repair? What about government departments working together seamlessly without being in the same physical space? All these are possible with the use of technology and the most important part of the smart city project is that when most of the technology will be deployed, a lot of data will be gathered in the process of running these services, which will lead to better decision making for the government. When the government sees that more people are booking appointments to see doctors in hospitals, but they aren't getting appointments on time, they will know ahead of time that the state needs more doctors or hospitals, as the case may be. If the government has a lot of data in their hands, it will guide their decision-making process, leading to better service delivery and an overall better society. The prioritizing of infrastructural development are needed because funds are not unlimited. This is important because sometimes people in authority do not employ a lot of research before starting certain infrastructural developments. This is not unique to Africa alone. White elephant projects exist around the world. Before we continue, do endeavor to support us by subscribing to our channel. Thank you as you click the subscribe button. Also remember to enable notification. To actualize the transformation of the city into a smart city, Lagos is laying 6,000 kilometers of fiber optic cables. The first phase, which will deliver 3,000 kilometers of fiber optic cables, is currently underway. When this is completed, it will connect health centers, public schools, universities, and many government departments with high speed broadband internet access. They might also decide to provide free land phone services just like in some cities abroad, where calls between landlines are free. The Lagos State Government have upgraded campus network infrastructure with Wi-Fi 6 devices to improve electronic learning for students. They are teaming up with Google and Facebook to build the biggest tech hub in West Africa. This tech hub will be built in Yaba to support the growing tech startup industry in Lagos. The Yaba Technology Cluster, which is named KITE, Knowledge, Innovation, Technology and Entrepreneurship, will be a free zone that will encourage growth of funding and financing to support the tech startup industry. They intend to build an ecosystem that will offer free labs for the use of tech startups in order to turn their innovative ideas to reality. This tech hub in Yaba will be built on a massive 22,000 square meter land. This will inevitably put Lagos as the tech hub destination in Africa. Social media giants like Google 
have already opened shop in Lagos, with Facebook opening theirs later this year. Facebook CEO recently invested $24 million in the Nigerian-based Andela, a tech startup that trains software developers in Africa with offices in Nigeria, Ghana, and Kenya. Google, through its Google Africa Developer Scholarship Program, has sponsored more than 30,000 developers in Africa. We'll be looking forward to the construction of this Yaba Tech Hub when it starts. As usual, you know we'll be bringing you all the updates. Just stay hooked to the channel. Thanks. The Yaba Tech Hub will add to the growing number of tech hubs in Lagos. There's already Co-Creation Hub in Yaba, Venia Hub in Lekki, Impact Hub in Ikoi, and many other clusters around Lagos. There is also the new Unicorn Incubation Campus in Yaba, which prides itself as the largest incubation campus in Africa. This is a welcome development. Supporting the tech startup industry is a nice way of encouraging growth in the industry. The Nigerian tech startup industry already attracts millions of dollars in venture capital investment, more than any country in Africa. In 2019, the industry attracted $747 million investment in 38 deals, while in 2020, it received $307 million in 71 deals. Nigeria has produced many fintech startups that have received seed funding from the Y Combinator. Y Combinator is an American seed funding for startups. Fintech startups that have benefited include Flutterwave, Temi, Paystack, Bamboo, Blue Loop, and others. Lagos State has also set up a 250 million Naira seed capital to boost technological innovation, out of which 100 million Naira has been given out as grants to empower some tech startups in the areas of healthcare, manufacturing, construction, agricultural value chain technology, and many others. When the Lagos Smart City project fully takes off, it will not only bring a lot of improvement to service delivery, it will change the way many things are done. Take security for example, with a high-speed broadband connection linking all the cameras in Lagos, security personnel will be able to see everywhere in real time. They will be able to respond to emergencies faster. When something is going wrong, they will be able to identify the actors and direct their field officers accordingly. It will lead to an overall improvement in intelligence gathering and investigations. What about the impact on the populace? The impact will be huge. For instance, if someone knows that he is being watched by a camera, he is very unlikely to commit a crime. This also applies to security agencies. Knowing that there are cameras watching in real time and that the superiors are viewing in real time the point of view of the cameras worn by a field officer, that officer is very likely to conduct his affairs responsibly. So in essence, it will reduce the abuse of power by state agents, which will lead to a safer and just society where everyone's right is duly accorded to him. This will ultimately lead to a safer society where businesses can thrive in an atmosphere of improved security. Part of the reason that crimes thrive is because the actors are confident that they will get away with it. If crime fighting has improved to the extent that over a few months, no person has never gotten away without being caught by the security agencies, it will definitely act as a deterrent. Apart from the technology deployment that helps state agents to provide a safer society, they still need a job security. They should be able to access a home mortgage with a flexible repayment plan that can last up to 30 years or the duration of active service. This is very simple to achieve and repayment will never be a problem because a lot of people live in rented apartments already where they pay rent. So it's a matter of converting the rent money to mortgage payments. Knowing that one lives in his own home not only reduces stress but improves confidence in the system. 
it will also reduce the tendency of taking kickbacks. This applies to every worker out there toiling daily for a better life. The state should also be able to provide life insurance for their workers, especially those in the front line. Just like security, traffic management will greatly benefit from the Lagos Smart City project. Although it is already happening to some extent, like these giant screens installed on some roads in Lagos that give motorists advice on the road to take in order to avoid traffic, it will soon be possible for traffic officials in the field to communicate with the command center in real time. The command center will also be able to remotely control traffic lights for an improved traffic flow. This is necessary because there are situations where the manual parameters of the traffic light are not sufficient in managing the traffic. They will also be able to catch traffic offenders without the need to chase them around town. As they say, technology is the new oil. Investments made in technology innovations today will definitely contribute to the growth of our economy tomorrow. They also say that knowledge is power. By creating the enabling environment for knowledge to thrive and develop, we are creating a better and prosperous future for our country. Wonderful people, we hope you enjoy this LEGO Smart City project and other amazing projects in the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and most importantly, show this video some love by liking it. Till next time, thanks for watching.